In this video, we'll be doing warm-up to last two in Python. The problem asks, given a string, return the count of the number of times that the substring length two appears in the string, and also as the last two characters of the string. So high xxx high yields one. We won't count the end substring. So basically what this problem is asking you to do is to uh, hold the last two substrings in a value and then uh, compare it throughout the string to see if that uh, same value or the same two, two strings uh, occurs elsewhere in the string and how many times it does that. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, it, 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 the last two characters are high and there's one more high in the string. So it's going to give the answer one since you don't include this one in the count. And this one, it gives xx and it's xx is also here once. And here it's another xx and it happens uh, it happens twice since it's xx here, and then there's also this xx right here. Uh, so in order to do this, we're going to first uh, make sure that the string is actually long enough. So we're going to do if len str is less than 2, it's going to return 0, since that means that there's not going to be uh, a possibility of the string having uh, another combination of the same characters besides the last two characters. And then we're going to set a count variable to hold our answer just by doing count equals zero. And then we're going to hold the string, the last two characters of the string, so we can actually uh, properly com easier compare them easier later on without having to call the this uh, long line of code later. So we're going to do str len of str minus two, which is going to get all the, which is going to get the last two um, values of the string str. Uh, since so it's going to go from last value minus 2 all the way to the end. Then we're going to do the for loop. So I'm going to do for i in range len of str minus 2, since we're not going to, once again, we're not going to uh, count the last two values in our count. Uh, then we're going to do if str i to i plus 2 double equals end then you're going to raise the count value like that. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to uh, check the i value it's on and then the next character is over as well. Since once again, the last character, uh, the last value of the string index does not get uh, counted in. So it's going to only return two values, not three. Um, and then if, if it's equal to end, which is the which is the variable we declared here, which is just the last two characters of the string, then it's going to raise the count value. So now we're going to go out of the if statement and the for loop, and then we're going to return count since that is what's going to hold our answer. And if we run this, it should give us all the correct answers. Thank you for watching.